In this video we'll briefly talk about what is chlorpromazine and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Chlorpromazine is an antipsychotic. It antagonizes dopamine at dopaminergic receptors in CNS neurons. It is available as tablets and syrup, and also available as injection. Chlorpromazine is used in the management of psychotic disorders, in manic phase of manic depressive disorder, relief of anxiety and restlessness prior to surgery, adjuncting treatment of tetanus, management of acute intermittent porphyria, control of nausea and vomiting, and relief of intractable hiccups. The usual dose of chlorpromazine for adults for psychosis, for hospitalized patients is 500 mg orally per day, and the maximum dose is 2000 mg per day, or 25 mg intramuscular injection once, with a subsequent 25 to 50 mg injection in one hour if necessary. And the maintenance dose is 400 mg intramuscular injection every 4 to 6 hours, until the patient is controlled. And for outpatients the usual dose is 10 mg orally 3 to 4 times a day, or 25 mg 2 to 3 times a day. And for more severe cases, 25 mg orally 3 times a day, increasing by 20 to 50 mg at semi-weekly intervals, until the patient is calm and cooperative. For acute intermittent porphyria, the usual dose is 25 to 50 mg orally 3 to 4 times a day or 25 mg intramuscular injection 3 to 4 times a day, continued until the patient is able to take oral formulations. And for nausea and vomiting, the usual dose is 10 to 25 mg orally, every 4 to 6 hours as needed, or 25 mg intramuscular injection once. And if hypotension does not happen, 25 to 50 mg intramuscular injection can be given every 3 to 4 hours as needed until vomiting stops, and then patients should be switched to oral formulations. And for intractable hiccups, the usual dose is 25 to 50 mg orally 3 to 4 times a day. And if symptoms persist after 2 to 3 days with oral therapy, 25 to 50 mg intramuscular injection can be given. And for tetanus, 25 to 50 mg intramuscular injection can be given three to four times a day, usually with barbiturates, or 25 to 50 mg intravenous injection, diluted to at least 1 mg per milliliter, and given at a rate of 1 mg per minute. Do not administer to patients with closed-angle glaucoma, prostate disorders, or to elderly patients with dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. Administer with caution and carefully monitor use in patients older than 60 years, patients with epilepsy, chronic constipation, renal or hepatic impairment, Parkinson's disease, and myasthenia gravis. Side effects of chlorpromazine include, drowsiness, orthostatic hypertension, and sexual dysfunction. Anticholinergic effects, such as dry mouth, blurred vision, urinary retention, constipation, and tachycardia. It may also cause extrapyramidal syndrome, tardive dyskinesia, photosensitivity, jaundice, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, which is unexplained hyperthermia with neuromuscular disorders. This case is rare but requires immediate treatment discontinuation. Advise patients to avoid driving or performing other activities requiring mental alertness until response to medication is known. Patient and family members should avoid contact of the medication with skin or eyes, as it can cause contact dermatitis or conjunctivitis. Instruct patients to take sips of water frequently, or chew sugarless gum if dry mouth happens. Skin may turn yellow-brown to grayish-purple. This is a temporary condition and a pink or red-brown urine discoloration is a harmless effect of the medication. Dress warmly in cold weather, and avoid extended exposure to either very hot or very cold temperatures, as body temperature is harder to maintain with this medication. This medication may cause increased sensitivity to sunlight, 
so sunscreen and protective clothing should be worn until sun tolerance is known. Do not take any other medication, including OTC products without approval from your treating physician. And finally, do not stop taking this medication abruptly, as this may precipitate a withdrawal reaction. Particularly extrapyramidal symptoms. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one. And also check our recommended products in the description.